we are at the South Mesa Trailhead, and we are obviously at the You Are Here sign, and we are going to be working our way up this way. There are many ways you can go, and then this trail map is really not clear enough to show that we're going to be heading right over here, and that is going to be the maiden in our epic climb for the day. So that's our story. Here we go. We are here on the South Mesa Trail, and exactly which trail, which there is a big spider web of, I can't say, but today we are heading for the Maiden, which is a relatively easy rock climb in technical terms, but the situation is just phenomenal. You're gonna really enjoy the climb, lots of exposure, as well as a rappel that's completely free hanging off of what looks like the nose of a striking cobra. So really excited. Braden's come to give me a hand with this whole adventure. So we are stoked. We'll see you up there. close now and then you'll see the mine tailings and there's our objective we just came from down there Braden is working his way past the super obvious cairn and up to this even little rock structure and we are at the quarry when you see this beautiful vista you're gonna make a left at this not super obvious Karen, but a really faint trail that Braden's not on. It's actually to his left through the trees here. Okay, so we are on the Maiden Trail and it is steep and kind of convoluted, as you can see. So plan for this. If you don't feel like you're on a trail, go find the trail from the quarry. You'll be glad you did. I've gone the wrong way before and it was a nightmare. So take my word for it, Corey up the beaten path, following a decent trail in Cairns. We'll see you on the south side of the Maiden, where we'll dump our gear, and that's where we'll end up coming down on the final rappel of two. Okay, we have just set up between the Matron and that giant boulder behind Braden. And way up here, you can see what they call the crow's nest. You can kind of see. And that is where we're going to be rappelling down from. There it goes. Oh, man, does it get thin. It's a little bit wet in here from the rain, too. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. I definitely have to take off the pack. Yeah, baby. Oh. So it is that tight. Ah. I don't know if he'll make it with the rope. We'll see. Figure eight, Yosemite style. Beaten right up. Here's the beginning of the first pitch. And we're actually gonna go down at the other side of it, east toward the main. Thin hands, a little bit of thin feet. To your left is a little fatter and juicier. edge now heading down to the crow's nest and it is really really deep this is what it looks like and then above me is a real craziness as well so this is the crow's nest and looking down this is another 511 plus climb that we might play on top rope so you can see where uh Braden just came down to me back in there super sweet so here we are at the start of the business pitch me and this crazy vulture 
Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need that spot. Whoa. Holy shit. He big. <laughs> All right, so here comes Braden. He's looking good. And he's gonna climb down quite a bit. About right where he's at. That was a bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just like the king. Nice. Oh, good snag. That was hard. We are midway across the second traversing pitch. Super cool, you can see I've got a piton here and down, way down below me, I've got a couple of bolts I, I lock together. And then you can see behind me is the belay station and Braden. So that's the whole deal. So a uh, pretty neat view there, I'm sure. And then we're gonna be traversing up and left past that pin right there, up and behind me, super cool. And then we're gonna pop onto the flat iron portion proper, the ramp, and that should be really easy. So, glad you could join me. Please like and subscribe. You can see the great lengths I go to to impress you. GoPro, stop recording. Yeah, just do what you do. Yeah, boy, look at that exposure. Oh. Yeah. Way sweet. Oh, look at him go. Braden's bringing it home now. And it looks pretty exciting. I think that's safe to say. Wow. And keep those feet as far out as you can. So that way you can lean in and be totally balanced. Good work, brother man. Thank you. I got you. Then, huh? Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky hands over there. Nice. So awesome, Braden. He's just got to the final uh, belay station that'll lead us up onto the ramp and probably what we'll just free solo from there. So I don't know if you can see in there, but Braden is down at the last traversing belay. That's our deal. And there's Boulder. The cool factor. Yeah, boy. Very cool. The world behind. There was a time I used to fly one of those things as well. That's the big picture. Oh, yeah. Whew. That's crazy at first. I believe it. There we go. Much better. Do it, brother man. Are you free hanging now? Oh yeah, very much so. This is the anchor I'm on right here. Oh boy, completely free. All right, we're gonna bust out the bad boy now.
time to give you guys a skinny about what I thought about that climb. I have done it a couple times before. It is just an insane, super classic, incredibly adventurous. Even for the five, six rating, I would say that a hard man could feel nervous with incredible exposure. So keep that in mind if you decide to do this route. Protection is not that plentiful either, although in the critical spots, it was good. What did you think about the climb, Braden? I definitely agree. So I particularly think on the overhung section, it was, uh, it was it was a little bit hard for the rating, but fantastic. Other than that, just all around, really, really great. Amazing day. All right, well, we are just finishing up the trail here and heading down to the South Mesa Trailhead. A significant hike in as well. I would say probably three and a half miles and quite a bit of vert. Probably 2,500 feet, maybe, maybe 2,000 feet. Um, but well worth it. Again, that's a great trip. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one. And I'd like to be doing the next one is some bigger, higher, gnarlier mountains, but boy, this 2022 season has been very wet and I don't want to take any chances with weather or lightning and actually feel really bad about the, uh, the fatality on the Cresto Traverse. So um, I, apparently they got off route and wasn't weather related, but weather can often be a factor. So I don't like to play with fire and that's my story. We'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe.